my friends and family and also acquaintances via email? Hey, you know, I have an idea of something that I wanted to create today, so I'm gonna just put my hands in the mud and make it. So please, watch this, yo. But YouTube is kind of um, pushing a lot of channels into a quiet, dark space, and it sucks. It really freaking sucks. So I just wanted to make this video for a couple reasons. One, um, I've never sat down and talked about my journey with you guys before. And another reason is I'm almost to a million subscribers. It's interesting, you know. It's an accomplishment. It's a milestone. It's, it's something. And... I kind of wanted to put this out there before I reached it, just to kind of reflect on everything. And another reason is, who knows what will ever happen to me. I could disappear, I could one day just run off into the woods and never want to come back, and then people will be like, yo, what the hell ever happened to Sarah, and like, how did she, how did she even, what did she do on YouTube, like, she didn't even have any other social media platforms, so like, how did she ever almost make it to a million subscribers, and then what happened to her, like, you guys could come back to this video, and this, this will be how it happened, and... In 2015, um, right around when I started YouTube, um, I uploaded one video before I got into my accident. That's one of the reasons of why I started YouTube. I had nothing to do. I had nobody to talk to. I was unable to walk for a while when I first started YouTube. And, and I needed a place, an outlet, so, and I also have always wanted to be a makeup artist, and I knew that YouTube was going to help me, I hoped, I still do, so anyway, um, because I know I have memory problems, I wanted to remember as much as I could, so I got a little notebook, and what is it, 15, 16, 17, 18, three years later, I'm almost completely done filling this up, I seriously, I want to say I only have like 20 pages left, I'm, I'm, I'm right here, and I just have this much left, and then she's done, our YouTube journey's over! I quit! I'm kidding. Kidding! Some people are like, yo, Shorty, it's way too late. You should have checked yourself in a while ago. But, um, I just want to get started. So, anyway, thus our journey begins. And it starts right here. At 37 subscribers. And a note to myself saying that I just have to stay focused. I also would like to mention um, something that I've never really talked about. I was on a bunch of medications when I first started YouTube. So um, my way of thinking and my way of processing and just of handling life, it was a little bit different and it still is. I, I, I change all the freaking time, am I right? So anyway, this is the mind of Sarah. December 17th of 2015. And what's interesting is I remember this day, like I remember this day. Okay, so here we go. For the first time in my life, I threw up from pushing my body too hard. It's strange because there is a difference between what you are physically capable of doing and what your mind thinks you can do. There's a huge difference. Body confidence is something humans should have distilled in them, naturally, like laughing or crying. We are born with the capability of understanding how to laugh and how to smile and how to cry without even knowing how to speak. My body feels weak, I feel skinny, and I feel more than halfway dead. My endurance is shot, it's non-existent. It's crazy, here I thought all along that gymnastics and my years spent dedicated to it would have set me for life. I thought I would be fit forever and my biggest fear would be gaining too much weight only to never expect that I'd be looking at myself saying I'm too skinny. People get surprised by that statement. What? A girl saying they're too skinny? Well, I didn't choose this. It's a feeling of defeat that I let my body work against me. I let this happen. I let it take full control over me and obviously I fell into this trap that I did myself. 54 subscribers. It's been the same for a couple of days. I'm starting to get annoyed and impatient with my acne. I do everything and anything to try to stop it, but nothing works. My skin looks horrible.
Like seriously, look at I have like wrinkles. I wear less makeup and I break out more. My face looks fat sometimes and I can still always feel that sense of pressure. It's everywhere, on my face, on my shoulders, even on my butt. I just don't understand. It gets to me. My self-confidence is nowhere when I'm always hiding. I didn't used to be this way and it's so frustrating. How is pain beautiful? This stuff hurts. And why would I, in my right mind, accept something that tears me down so much? There's really nothing I can do about it. It's just always there. And then when I stress about it, being there, I just break out more. It's not fair. 55 subscribers. I uploaded a new video today, 9 total views so far. I think my most popular one has 350 something. 93 subscribers. December 24th, 2015. OMG Lily shouted me out in her newest YouTube video. And I couldn't be more blessed. So many amazing comments and subscribers. It's amazing. Lily. You are a huge reason why I even started getting noticed on YouTube. Just know that I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you. December 24th, this is the same day. It's just that I hit 100 subscribers, thanks to Lily. Still continuing to increase in subscribers. I didn't think I'd hit 100. Next is 200. Then we finally reached 2016. January 2nd, meeting and finding some amazing people. January 4th, 2016, ukulele lessons tonight. Um, I don't know if that's something else that I've ever talked to you guys about. I always tried to learn how to play the guitar and the ukulele after I got into my accident, because that was something that I was even trying to do before. So my dad did everything in his freaking right mind to try to get my little ass to learn how to play the ukulele or the freaking guitar. We started with the guitar, but the ukulele has a little bit less strings, so we thought, hey, maybe the little kid could figure out how to play the ukulele. But, um, just that my little brain cannot hold on to anything. Dad and I got into an argument because I called the people on the jury idiots. He told me I have to respect people whether I think they deserve it or not. He got really offended. But I told him Dr. Kanit, she understands. He told me, you think I want to be sick? You think I want to know about all the horrible things that are about to happen to me? You think I'm happy with things? I started crying, the hard crying that you can't catch your breath kind. We hugged it out. He told me this stuff is hard. Don't give up. You know in your heart you can do this. Editing, get to know me. I need to get more journals. One for YouTube and one for life. Maybe a better planner, possibly. I want to just lay down, but I need to finish editing. I'm getting in trouble for being too passive, and I need to be more active. January 8th, 2016, 214 subscribers. I got mentioned in a daily YouTube beauty blog on the list of top finds. Someone told me about it in my comments, and then I put score with a happy face. <laughs> January 10th, 2016, 230 subscribers. I got my first rude comment. Continue on with the day. <laughs> January 11th, 277 subscribers. More and more amazing comments. I found out my dad's chemo pills will cost us over $6,000 a month. It's almost $200 per pill, basically. If we don't have insurance, it's 11000 a month. How do they expect people to pay for that? I don't understand why more and more bad things keep happening to me. We don't have the money like that. I can't work. It's like it's becoming me, my dad, and Laura. I wish she was around more. I can't handle my dad crying. If we can't afford the pills, then what? Are they just going to let the cancer go free? I don't get it. Enough is enough. Till next time. On February 5th, I reached 2,000 subscribers. Um, I said, doing pretty good editing video today. And then on February 6th, I uploaded my Valentine's Day makeup tutorial, which had 406 views. 
On February 19th, I reached 3,000 subscribers. People started to message me privately about their problems, and it feels very good. On February 28th, I commented on Lulu's video. She responded when I really didn't think she would. She's literally just like me. And what's crazy, she looks just like Carla. Um, Carla was a really good friend of mine. Lulu, girl, I've been watching you from the jump too. I have about 3,700 subscribers and my views seem to be moving really slow. I don't know if you guys know how much of an impact you guys have had on my little old life. Um, sometimes I don't comment too much on all the videos I watch because seriously, people are like, oh my god, Sarah, I see you everywhere, I see you everywhere, I see you everywhere, and I'm like, and I see so many people just trying to make it, and I just want to show them some support. On March 3rd, I got up to 4,000 subscribers. I have a new video, my Wild Woman video, which I low-key think is one of my favorite videos that I've ever made. Um, I started Zoloft. I started feeling very strange, very nauseous, so I didn't want to make any more makeup tutorials. Um, and this was a time in my life, it was hard, yo. On March 22nd, I said, I want to start making book videos. And then on March 23rd, the next day, I reached 6,000 subscribers. I am ready to possibly start doing vlogs. I need to order a camera holder for my windshield. I also need to think about story ideas. So then I wrote down one of my story ideas was trespassing at work. And I told you guys that one. That one was pretty funny. I have another one of Ethan falling through the ceiling, my rehab experience, fixator. I have one peeing my pants everywhere. I have one of Kayla and I sneaking out through the fire exit to steal my mom's bike. <laughs> Kayla and I with our fake boobs. I have, um, I convinced one of my teachers, I still need to talk about some of these story times, like, yo, I'm telling you, still got to do things I was planning back in 2016, but, um, I convinced one of my teachers that my mom was, like, this really hot blonde woman right before student teacher conferences, oh my god, <laughs> and it's like, I need to edit a movie, but iMovie is being so slow and I am too impatient at this point with that computer. <laughs> I literally wrote that down. I'm dead. And you can tell I was pissed because my handwriting got even more dirtier than before. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Um, and then on April 26th, I wrote a note that says, I'm just really frustrated and fed up with life right now. On May 31st, 2016, I was able to start monetizing my videos. I just reached 42,733 subscribers. I was like, oh yeah, monetize, baby! <laughs> That's awesome. June 3rd, um, I made $105.66. I have a note that said, um, a year ago today I was still in the ICU. I reached 50,000 subscribers today and I need to be very proud of myself. This will be my first video to hit a million views. I couldn't monetize it, but still. And I finally reached a million on my video. Um, I was like almost to 100k. I posted my rest video. And then I say, um, I've been feeling weird lately and not in the mood for videos. I'm stuck when it comes to talking videos and that's all people are asking for. School starts soon. It seems like my channel has been moving really slow. But I am making more money on you now. So yeah, I started broadcasting live on YouNow, and I started making so much more money on YouNow than I was on YouTube, which I was like, what the heck, but... On Labor Day, I hit, um, 100k, and then my Vanity Planet hit 4.3 million views. <laughs> I think it's just cool to be, you know, able to look back.
And then I have a note to myself on September 11th that says, Okay, there will be highs, there will be lows. Stay focused and determined and take this where you want it to go. Avoid resistance. So, you know, some days I would just have to remind myself, like you. On October 1st, I reached 246,000 subscribers. And on October 13th, I posted my smiley Halloween makeup tutorial. I have been having a hard time being motivated because of my skin and the way my makeup has been looking. It's just not good. It's so frustrating trying to make makeup tutorials. Also, my Halloween looks, I've tried. The elf ears. I can't even remember, but they turned out so bad that I couldn't even upload them. On you now, I've reached 2,000 followers. I haven't been getting tipped, so last month I made $300 and then $13. I'm not even kidding. It had to roll over because the limit pay is $30. That's pathetic on my part. Um, and my knee surgery was scheduled for the 21st. I can't let that hold me back mentally, physically, or spiritually. Positive thoughts and vibes. I had surgery on the 21st. Um, I was almost to 400k subs. I want to cut this short just because I don't really want to bore you guys by just reading this. It's so interesting to me though because I'm literally just reading my history on YouTube. I wrote everything down. But then it says January 1st, 2017. Happy New Year. I reached 400k today. <laughs> That's so cool. And then I got a comment that there was a Croatian TV show that was using my face to advertise Botox. Um, I was like, what? I'm not sure if this is true. I'm so done having people steal my stuff and I don't know what to do. On January 8th, I reached 411,000 subscribers. I was supposed to go to New York for the 10th. Um, I haven't heard anything, although I emailed the woman. She mailed me back saying something came up and we couldn't make it happen. Gave me a thanks for letting me know two days ahead. Little smack on the face. Oh well. And then I wrote January 10th. So yesterday was the 9th supposed to be in New York now. It's whatever. Maybe Kayla and I will be in New York the 17th and 19th, hopefully. And then I have, I'm still feeling off. It's not as funny. It's getting crazy. It's probably just the meds. Who knows? Millennials video got a lot of weird reviews. Sticking to makeup tutorial until I'm off of meds. Physical therapy starts soon. I need to get my weight on. I'm only 95 pounds. I mean, I could tell I was in a weird mental space. Like, I was drawing lines everywhere and like... I decided to delete my millennials video. There was way too much negativity and too many ignorant people. Couple have asked where it went. I feel bad. Somebody asked me if I've be been becoming narcissistic. Good God. January 20th, just got back from New York with Kayla. Why you gotta be so extra? <laughs> we just fun. extra like that. Cause it's fun. Cause we just having fun. But I reached 430 subscribers and I have a note to myself that says, ignore the hate, only pay attention to the support. Almost a half a million. <laughs> On January 29th, I reached 438k. Negativity got the best of me these last couple months. I've been feeling my mom. It's a beautiful presence and hopefully it's also followed by warm weather. Other things have been on my mind, but I must keep focus. Dad's doctor's appointment. Cancer is growing. One year left. But they told us only 18 months over 18 months ago. So I don't think they know what to do. I received makeup from ColourPop. That's awesome. And then it says, I need to be more creative. I hate having to look for inspiration. I've got this. Dad's been in the hospital. So I'm in the hospital with my dad. 
shot, um, he had blood work done on Friday, and the results were bad. This morning, they called him right into the emergency room, just like they did with my mom, like dead ass with my mom. She got the results back. She didn't even get home before the doctor called her house phone. I'm almost at 500k on April 7th, 2017. I was like, we can do better than this. And then I finally reached 500k on April 11th. Then on April 20th, it says, My dad passed away last night. They took him off of life support around 11. I'm in shock. I don't feel real. The house feels more than strange. I need to stay focused and busy. They expect nothing less, Sarah. It's time to make them proud. Rest in paradise, Dad. I, like, can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. And I love how you can, like, there's my, oh my god, I just made it to finally half of a million to, like, oh my god, my dad just died. Like, my handwriting completely changes. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so freaking excited about life. And then I'm like, boom. Serious Sarah. Serious Sarah was birthed April 20th. If those of you who are asking what happened, that's what happened. I was birthed. On April 22nd, I was able to upload the video about my dad. I am in shock and my brain doesn't understand it at all. I miss you so much, it's unreal. On April 25th, the video on my dad has over 2 million views. There is a lot of love, but a lot of people are saying that I'm seeking attention, I'm faking it, I have plenty of money. It's frustrating, but I'm doing my best to stay positive. Thank you, Dad. You'll have a miserable life if everything everyone says hurts your feelings. And then I started kind of, you know, not writing as much. Um, I would mostly just write down maybe the date. Like here I put April question mark, like I don't even know what date it is. Um... I'm at 530k subs, but then like my poor little body, I'm like May 1st, I think I'm at 600k subs, I could be wrong. I got 2.6 million views on my last video, but I haven't been back on yet. On May 3rd, the Trump event upstairs was infested with bugs. So I recorded a video, lol, I know I'm a drama queen. It was horrible, but I'll still upload it. On May, I don't even have the date, but it just says, I miss you, Dad. It's been rainy and colder, and I had a hard day yesterday. May 6th, alone. Can't stop crying. I don't understand. I can't stop crying, a.k.a. repeating myself. My mind is a mess, TBI times a thousand. I feel completely disconnected from all of my family. Why? I feel lost in time. And that's when my pen over the past two years decided to shit out on me. Um, been feeling weird and disconnected with life lately, like I don't know anyone and they don't know me. On June 1st, 2017, my Easy Eyes and Face makeup tutorial got flagged at 30 million views. Not shabby, not shabby. I enjoyed the ride while it lasted. I think I'm just going to unmonetize it. But then I realized that I can't unmonetize it. Um, How to Plant only has 60k views and it's moving slow as shit. It's almost my 21st birthday. <laughs> On July 3rd, I wrote, my wig review equals cultural appropriation. Seriously, I'm, it was crazy. On um, July 8th, I reached 700k subscribers. I've really been missing my dad. I just feel strange like he's over at Laura's and he'll be back any time. It's tough, but I'll keep pushing. And then on July 16th was when I did my first sponsored video at 717,000 subscribers. Yo, Faye, dead ass, yo. I got you, brother. Look at that. Faye is amazing. I was at 739. I put, 
I had uploaded my my cooking video number two and I got mixed reviews saying I am mentally insane. On January 4th of this year, 14th, I reached 800 subscribers, which is pretty cool. My chin is breaking out and I don't know if it's from stress, it's from hormones, it's from food, from makeup. I've been feeling really off since my dad died, like something in me is missing and silenced. I don't know what it is, if it's just sadness or depression, but I'm really in for it. I don't feel funny anymore. This happened for a while after my accident. Like, I dead ass, dude, just like you, you lose all of your humor. I don't feel funny anymore. This happened for a while after my accident, but with time, it will pass. It says, I'm ready for the sun. On February 22nd, 899 subs, almost 900k, finally. I'm going to bed with 8,999 subs. And I woke up to 900k on March 7th. Since I just posted covering acne scars, YouTube has been weird. Um, my last video only reached 100k of that. I don't know, it's really slow, but I'm not going to get discouraged. March 9th. It's so funny. I'll think I haven't written in this for a while, when in reality, I checked in yesterday. I haven't really been up to videos yet, but, understand, but I understand me sitting here and not saying anything is agreeing to what they want. What good is it to not tell someone something you know? Ego is making you selfish and that's what they want. They want you to mindlessly follow movements without being aware. There's no such thing as unconscious, it's only a shadow of your conscious. Don't understand that yet, but it really stuck with me. Do you make videos helping people as they are a part of a movement or expose the lies? Two different ways of helping, which is ego-driven and which is heart-driven. But I was mostly just saying, do I keep making videos that help people become a part of the movement, or do I expose the lies? So. March 10th, I uploaded progression versus pro perfection. Perfection, but I haven't checked up on it yet. I low-key keep forgetting. On April 6th, I found out Uncle Griff passed away. April 11th, I totally forgot I already mentioned Uncle Griff passing away. So, the last thing in my little journal so far. Not sure my number of subs. I watched a video that really inspired me. Letty sent me some beautiful candles in the mailbox. Looking back, my channel has died. I literally feel just like Bunny, but I've only started. Then I say, we've got this. Numbers don't matter. We've got this. Numbers don't matter. All right, I'll be over here. Dude, and I dropped my phone in the toilet last night. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get a text at two o'clock in the morning. That's like, hey, text me if you need me with a heart. And I'm like, okay, more like you guys call me if you fucking need me. 